Brian is just explaining a new math game called Always 12, a game for two to four players. It's very appropriate for first through third graders. I even think I get it. To play Always 12, you will need the Always 12 grid card and the deck of cards. The object of Always 12 is for the players to find a combination of four numbers ranging from one to six that make 12 during their turn. The challenge is that you will have to think ahead and pay attention to the sum of the numbers on the grid. This game also deals with missing add-ins, which are numbers that can be added to another to form a sum. To start, shuffle the cards and place them in a pile face down. Draw four cards and place them face up, one in each of the four corners on the grid. Players decide who will go first. Each player draws three cards from the pile. Players should only look at the cards in their own hand. Player one places a card on top of any card on the grid in an effort to make 12. If the player can make 12, he or she announces, It makes 12. <laughs> and gets to take all of the cards on the grid and set them aside. These cards are no longer used in the game. If the four cards do not total 12, the player announces, It doesn't make 12. And it's player two's turn. However, if player one says, It doesn't make 12. But the cards do total 12. Any player can say, It makes 12. And claim the cards on the grid. Four more cards are placed on the grid and play resumes starting with player two. Players take turns placing and drawing cards. The game ends when all of the cards have been drawn from the pile and placed on the grid. The player who captures the most cards wins. You've got it. I really like this game because there is so much going on. The game Always 12 provides students an opportunity to add more than one number at a time. It requires them to think ahead to determine what numbers will make 12 and to pay attention to the sum of the four numbers on the grid. They constantly need to be looking at the numbers in their hands to see which ones could be used to make 12. There is a lot of strategy involved in this game and players need to be acutely aware of the many combinations that make 12. What should I be looking for when I'm playing with first, second, and third graders? Well, students will often count to find the solution, but we want to encourage them to find combinations of the numbers to make the addition easier. For instance, making 10 is often easy for kids to see. 5 plus 5 or 6 plus 4, then you just need to add two more to make 12. Or, if the numbers on the grid total 11 and one of the numbers were increased by 1, the sum would make 12. Make sure each child waits for their turn so that everyone has a chance to think about the numbers. In this way, no one dominates the game and everyone has more fun. Does it make sense to all of you? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I know that I'm going to enjoy playing Always 12 with my nieces. Mm -hmm.